Hey y'all. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about a movie that you can watch on um, Prime Video if you want to. Uh, it costs like three bucks to rent it. I honestly would wait until you don't have to rent it. Wait for it to be like included with Prime. Because I was a little disappointed. But the movie is called After Yang. And it came out in March of 2022 in America, I'm assuming. Because there was like two dates on there. And pretty much, okay, you got a husband and wife. And they've got a daughter. Her name is Mika. And she is like Chinese. And they had Yang, which I guess you would call him their son. But he was what they called a techno sapien. And I was like, what is that? But, um, so he was like a robot, but apparently a very realistic robot. Because he didn't sound like no robot. He sounded like a Chinese boy. And it's, uh, the first time I watched this movie, y'all, I'm not even gonna lie. When it ended, I was like, what happened? Like, I don't know if it's because I watched it early in the morning and I was still kind of like asleep or what, but I didn't understand one thing that went on in that movie. So, I watched it again for the second time later that night. And I was like, oh, okay. I kind of get it now. But not really. So, what did I do? I watched it a third time. Because, you know, when you're in a movie on Prime Video, they give you like 48 hours to watch it. So, I watched this movie three times in 48 hours. And I have nothing to show for it. Uh, <laughs> this, um, was very confusing for me, uh, because, like, the words that they were saying and everything was, like, all technological, and I was just like, okay, but, uh, Mika, you know, she's the little girl, and, like, in the, near the beginning of the movie, it's the mom and dad and the, uh, little robot person um and mika and uh you know they're all doing this like little dance competition like i guess like virtual reality they got like these overall jumpsuit things on where i guess they can collect like your movement and everything and they're like bobbing to the music and i was like oh my gosh i wish i could see this right now because it sounded really funny. Like, even one of the dance moves was called the Hitchhiker. And I was like, what? And all these different dance moves, it would say the name. And after, the like, one of the levels, it would eliminate so many families. Well, they got booted out because uh, Yang was, like, I guess not in sync with the family. I don't know because I can't see them. And they were eliminated. Well, everybody's blaming. Oh, it was your fault. It was dad's fault. It was, no. Uh, Yang ended up, like, malfunctioning. And he was, like, still bobbing to the music, I'm assuming. And they're all laughing. And then they're like, oh, no. Something's wrong with Yang. And so, the daddy, Jake, he ends up taking Yang to where they got him from. Because he was still under, like, warranty or something. And... They couldn't, like, pinpoint what the problem was from my understanding. However, uh, he wanted a second opinion. So, when he took him to this other person, they found, like, a memory, like, chip or something in his chest or somewhere on him. And so, Jake, uh, Mika's dad, ends up getting the chip and, like, He's got these really weird glasses things. Like, he's, like, watching um, his uh, memories on. And he starts noticing, like, this girl that he has never seen before. And he's just like, 
Who was this girl? Well, y'all, the girl ends up being a clone, and I didn't understand that part. I was like, why is there a techno-sapien, which they're calling it. I call it a robot. And then there's a clone, and they're like, I don't know. This movie was, like I said, I had to watch it three times, and I didn't really start understanding it until the third time. Um... In my opinion, y'all, like I said, wait for it to be included with Prime. Don't waste your money because I want my $3 back. Like, I really do. But I can't because I rented it. So, whatever. But it sounded really good in the description. I just, I don't know. Movies are just, in my opinion, not what they used to be. Like, movies I grew up on, I was expecting it to be more down the road of, like, Bicentennial Man with Robin Williams, and it was similar to an extent, but it lacked a lot of, like, quality, I guess you could say. But I did learn some Chinese facts, you know, he had all these, like, Chinese facts and stuff he was teaching Mika, you know, and stuff like that. I don't remember any of them, but they were cool once I heard them, like, three times. Uh, so, if you want to check this out, it's at your own risk. It's your $3, not mine. I already spent my $3. So, it's on Prime Video. It's called After Yang. And, um, sorry, this movie wasn't better. I thought it was going to be pretty good, but it stunk. So, uh, yeah, so don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Don't be blindsided, and we'll see you very soon with another review. Thanks.